Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas Football here at Pridgen Stadium in Cypher ISD. Here with the head coach of the Cy Ranch Mustangs, Coach Sean McAuliffe, after a 45-7 win over Cy Ridge to even your record at 1-1. One one. Uh, coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you. I appreciate it. Our uh, coaches did a great job this week getting kids ready to go, and our, our kids did a great job of starting fast and, uh, you know, kind of answering some questions that we had at the end of our ball game last week against a really good Cy Fair team. You know, you know, I know last week you played a really good team, but, you know, losing leaves a bad taste in your mouth. And then you have to wait an extra day. You're playing a Saturday night game. Uh, did, did the kids, I mean, it seemed like they came out with a little bit of an edge today and really play fast and physical. Do you feel like they were stewing about that a little bit and were ready to go tonight? I, I think our kids were. Uh, I, I told them last week at the end of our game, it's not because of a lack of talent that we came up short. I don't, I don't think it was a lack of coaching. Uh, I think it was, could we execute when it was tight and, and could we finish games off and finish people? And, and we felt like we, we kind of didn't do a very good job of that last week. So, you know, th this week they were, they were challenged a little bit and they were challenged right before they came out. And, and I couldn't be happier for them. They, they responded the way uh, you hope they would respond. Uh, you know, I think we got a chance to, to be a pretty good ball club before this is all over with. Uh, offensively, I thought your quarterback, DJ Sears, did a fantastic job. He runs. The run pat, the RPO stuff you guys do really well. Uh, he, he's a real dynamic runner, uh, and when he needs to throw the ball, he's really accurate when he throws the ball. What, what kind of player, you know, since you got here, what kind of player has he and have you seen him grow as a leader in your offense? Uh, he, you know, I, the football gods have blessed me. I, I got to coach a Jalon Williams and, and a couple other really, really good quarterbacks, and, and DJ's going to end up turning out just like those kids. Uh, he's a hard worker. You know, last year was a learning curve. They, they went from, a, from an offense that he bootlegged a lot, and 18 passes a game was like a record to, to what we do right now, which is wide open, try to push tempo a little bit. And he's just responded. You know, he, he was pretty hard on himself last week after the game. Didn't think he played very well. And, and uh, you know, he, he's an innate leader and, and a kid that really, really wants to shine when it's time to, time to do that. And uh, I couldn't be happier for him or Brad Manning, the offensive coordinator, and our staff for, for the game plan they put together for that kid. You, know, you mentioned you guys like to be up tempo and be a little more, little wide open, but I thought when you guys wanted to run the football and get downhill with your running attack, your offensive line did a heck of a job, and they were able to do that tonight. Uh, how pleased are you with your offensive line and their play tonight? I, I couldn't be happier. You know, I got two really good coaches, and, and Coach Hooten and uh, Coach Perkins. They take a lot of pride in what they're doing, and you know, we're gonna we're gonna try to hang our hat on running a zone base offense in the run game and mixing some of the gap scheme stuff. And it helps. We have four of the kids back, so you know, the learning curve wasn't as 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 severe as it was last year with the kids returning and you know uh Cypress Ranch is a good place to be man we got great kids a great community and, and these kids take a lot of pride in putting on our helmet and getting after it offensively I thought you guys were really good you really disrupted their, their attack uh, all night long I thought your defensive line controlled things uh your secondary was in the right places as well but I think it, you know defensively just like on offense it starts up front and uh you feel like your defensive line had played really well tonight didn't they uh, you know, Blaine Channels uh, uh, for our nose is a four-year letterman for 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 Cyprus before this all gets over with. Uh, he's as good as any that I've coached, and that includes you know the Marvin Leals that are at A and M, and and some of the other guys, Dalton Robinson, um, Ashton Porter, number ninety is only a sophomore. He's got he's got an unbelievable upside, and, and you know our other end, Chibi, is only a junior, so. Those kids are big and athletic, and uh, they, they make me look like a really good defensive line coach. I, I think they got some innate abilities that, uh, you know, we, we're fortunate enough to put them in good position tonight to make plays. Uh, it make, make, makes a coach look real smart when he's coaching talented kids. I mean, I mean obviously, you, you do a great job, but co coaching up talented kids is, is, is a lot of fun, isn't it? Without a doubt, you know. Uh, I've been blessed, man. The football gods must like me for some reason. I, I got to coach a bunch of good kids at my previous stop, and I, I get to coach a bunch of great ones here. And uh, I, I think it all starts with our community. You know, these kids want to be good in the classroom. They want to be good in the community. Their parents expect it. Our admin expects it. So, you know, we don't have to do a whole lot of motivating. They're, they're kind of motivated to begin with. And, you know, they didn't like the way last week ended, and they, they, they want to kind of make a statement. I thought they did a nice job tonight, and on the district. Question for you, Coach. Uh, you know, how do you celebrate a big win? What's the, what's the post-game meal of choice for Coach McAuliffe after a big win? 
probably going to be a water burger patty melt meal for like the third time this week because i've got i got two little ones at the house and a, and a freshman and uh there's some nights mama doesn't really cook too much uh, she's running around chasing a five-year-old so i think we're gonna go with some water burger and uh you know get back to the school in about i don't know 12 hours and, and get to work on our next one congrats on the win enjoy it while you can and i appreciate what you do for student athletes in the state of texas yeah, I appreciate you too, man. It's uh it's a lot of fun. It's always uh it's always good when you win. It's a great day to be a Mustang.